everybody this is esoteric ramblings welcome back to the channel i'm jesse arnold and today i'm bringing you a recent toy haul review everybody welcome back um i just am uh, recorded my invincible season one review and now moving on to a toy haul review because i haven't done a toy review in a while so I thought I'd do one just dedicated to stuff I've gotten recently. I'm not going to get huge in-depth into detail super much on these figures, just kind of showing off what I got and a little highlights of each of them. Uh, I'll start off initially with the ones I'm not taking out of the box. So I initially did not want to get this because of the price, um, but because I thought it would be a great addition to the shelf, I got the uh, Super 7 reaction figure of Raphael to go on my Raphael shelf. I do love this classic kind of retro style card back and figure presentation. I know the Turtles never had figures like this uh, back in the day, but I really enjoyed this. I love the art design on it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. And the back of the card is also, uh, it's a nice throwback to the original action figure series. You've got the the card logo, um, you know, cut out up there you could do and the different characters in the line. Um, not going to go crazy with this line. Just wanted to get Raph to go with my uh, other shelf, uh, shelf of all Raphael stuff up there. So, um, yeah. Um, which I posted recently over on my Instagram page, just shelve it, just dot shelve dot it. Uh, it is a uh, Instagram page just filled of my collections and little blips of my video reviews here, just to let people know they're up. So if you want to go over there, if it's easier to interact with me there, feel free to check it out. Um, you might be able to find it just under Jesse Arnold. I believe my current icon is a uh, pop-eyes version of myself. So speaking of pops, uh, the next two things I'm going to show off are uh, some new pops. I don't plan on opening either of these. Um, I was not super excited to get the Zombie Rogue because um, I'm not a huge fan of the Marvel Zombie stuff in general. Uh, please don't hate me. Um, but it's Rogue, and I saw it at GameStop, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to get it, because the odds are I might want it down the road for some reason, and I won't be able to find it because it's an exclusive. So I got it to go with the rest of my Rogue collection. And um, I'm not going to lie, this next one is from one of my favorite Disney animated movies. It was kind of what kicked off the Disney Renaissance back in the day. I got made of mercilessly for liking this movie in fifth grade, even though I never saw it. Um, and, you know, even as a 40 something adult male, I still try to collect as many of the pops from this movie as I can. Um, so here is the new Disney, what is it, Ultimate Princess? <laughs> Uh, Ariel with Sebastian on the, the rock right before Under the Sea starts. So, um, yeah, this is, it's a fun pop. I love the different designs they've done, how they've been able to increase the style and design of the Ariel pops over the years. So, um, and it's nice to have a Sebastian with her that's not, uh, as big as her as the regular Sebastian pop is. So, um, also my girlfriend is a huge fan of the Little Mermaid, so, um, I also get them to kind of share them with her. Up next, another unbox. Normally, I don't, or inbox. Normally, I don't keep these types of figures in box, but because it's just a paint variation on a character I already have, I don't really feel the need to open this one. And it was just fun to get. Um, is the redeco of GI Joe Classified Series Scarlet where she's got the tan and the black instead of the blue. Um, a lot of that extra shiny gold has been taken off the uniform. It's been kind of muted a little bit. Uh, I believe they've done a different paint app on the face and hair, um, but it looks like she comes with all the same gear and everything. And I really like this box and um, wanted to get a second one anyway, so I'm glad I was able to get the redeco one, because I do love, this is uh, Phil Noto art. He's one of my favorite comic book artists to do uh, the front and the side panel here with her um, is just really great. So this is gonna go up on the wall over there in this little blank spot. So um, nice to have this one for the collection. And I'll continue on with the GI Joe uh, items at the moment. Um, so big shout out to my friend Jimmy uh, who uh, 
I was at Target yesterday asking me if I needed a Boba Fett from the new Black Series line. And I said, nope, I already got him. I was like, hey, if you're around, keep your eye out for Zartan for me. And he walked over to the toy sec, the G.I. Joe section, and he was like, this guy? And uh, so I was able to get my hands on a Zartan, um, which I'm not doing the whole Joe line anymore, but he's always been such a great figure, a great character, and this is an awesome figure. I love his little accessories with the monkey paw and the, uh, the viper head there. He's got the mask that he can uh, put on his face. It does go into his backpack, his gun, and his knife. This is a really nice detailed figure. Um, yeah, this is this is a pretty great figure. So thank you, Jimmy, for uh, just nagging that for me and the, the Scarlet. Um, yeah, so that's it for the Joes. Um, let's stick in the Hasbro universe and move over a channel from the 80s to uh, Transformers. Um, I did get two of the Sharpticon Gnaws from the Cyberverse series because I looked up one of the, it was the Generations or Power of the Primes and realized it's essentially the same figure, just painted a little more brighter, a little more colorful, a little more kid-friendly. I might do some re repainting on these myself, I don't know, um, but I wanted to get a couple of the Sharpticons to put with my uh, Studio Series Cup, Hot Rod, or... Uh, Grimlock characters, because the the one studio, I believe Cup, comes with the studio series background where it's got the, the underwater scene, or maybe it was Hot Rod. But anyway, I uh, wanted to add those to the movie series things. And then next is the uh, Huffer from the War for Cybertron Kingdom. I've got a couple blast effects from other figures on here. But uh, Huffer was always one of my favorite figures as a kid. I didn't know a lot about his story. I just really loved that little orange and purple truck uh that had like three moves to transform him uh it was a very mild figure but i just love the colors on it and this one was great as soon as i saw them announce him i had to add him to the cart uh and he is such an upgrade on the character and the design of this toy um i just really really enjoy this character and super happy to have him on the shelf there okay Moving right along, um, Star Wars. I found a decent deal on GameStop last week or two weeks ago. A um, bunch of these figures were on sale and uh, in stock, so I was like, great, they will ship, and that'll be good. So I grabbed two of the Elite, was it the Elite Squad Troopers? Um, now, I did give this one a pistol from one of the other characters I'm going to show you. But uh, yeah, I like army building. I love the clone armor and I wanted to get at least two of these guys. And they're great. They're, they're just like the other, um, I think they're based off of the same Kamino, Kamino clone armor figures. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't, I don't pay as hard a detail, attention to detail on some of those things as some of my other friends who are black series collectors. But, um, I, I love army building, especially with the stormtroopers and the clone troopers. Um, I will say this, I try not to be a jerk. If I see multiples in the store, depending on how many are on the rack, I will either buy one, maybe two. Um, if there's a lot, I'll buy two. If there's only a couple, I'll only buy one. I try to make sure there's enough for everybody out there. And I'll do my army building through pre-orders on Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, GameStop, things like that. So, um, so yeah. So that's fit for the Elite Squad Troopers. Uh, it's just really cool to see them in a completely different color armor head to toe instead of just some accents. So I'm not sure how these characters are going to play out because Bad Batch starts next week. So I'm not integrating these guys into my Star Wars shelf yet because I don't know where they're going to fall based on what I know about the show being a transition from the uh, Grand Army of the Republic into the Imperial Army and Navy. So we'll see. Um, speaking of Bad Batch, we've got uh, Hunter here. Let's see if I can pull his helmet off real quick. Um, which is pretty nice. They've done a nice job of catching a kind of photorealistic sculpt to the face like they've done with the other um, Tamora Morrison head sculpts for the regular clones. But since these guys are different, they get to play around with them a little bit more. 
but if you take the helmets off, they look good and realistic next to the rest of the kind of photo real, uh, actual like movie Star Wars characters. And I just love all the details on this guy from the, the face tattoos he has, the design on his helmet. Um, he's got his knife, which goes into a nice little holster here on his wrist. I love this new larger blaster. Again, I don't know enough Star Wars details to know the names of these weapons. Um, because I don't usually retain that kind of information. <laughs> and, uh, you know, big old backpack. So he's pretty great. And then, of course, along with him out now is uh, Crosshair. Crosshairs. He's got his... Um, his pistol has a holster. Hunter didn't come with a holster for his gun. That's why the Elite Squad Trooper has the pistol. He's got his nice big old sniper rifle there. And his backpack, which can house the gun. And he's got the functional... Uh, antenna, and he does have the eye scoop or eye scope uh, feature there. And again, same thing. He's got a very nice and <laughs> pretty photorealistic face to go with uh, if you decide to display him with the helmet off. I'm not going to put that back on right now. Um, but yeah, great figure. I love the articulation on these. Uh, they are not, it's not just the same body mold, 100%. Uh, the armor's a little different on him. I believe the legs might be the same. Um, but yeah, I, I just really like the different personalities they're capturing in these figures. Cannot wait to get the rest of the Bad Batch squad. And last but not least, one I was not super excited about initially because I wanted to make uh, a custom of the Bounty Hunter version of her. But I wanted to get her for at least the lightsabers. Uh, Asajj Ventress in her Sith Apprentice outfit. Um, I do like the soft goods. This is a nice... Uh, normally, I, I'm not huge on soft goods. Um, as to, like, I can... Either way is fine. But for a huge dress like this, uh, it's nice to have the uh, soft goods to give the flexibility to do some cool posing and stuff. So, uh, And the face sculpt on that is fantastic. I think the lighting is not quite picking it up. Um, but it's, again, they've done a really job of taking a face that was super stylized for the animated series and making it work on a realistic head sculpt, um, that looks like you can put her next to the Natalie Portman and Hayden Christian heads of the, you know, uh, the regular prequel series characters, and she would not look out of place at all, so... All right, that's it. That is my huge toy, uh, review rundown real quick. Um, for these new figures. we got plenty of more coming in the, the weeks and months ahead, so I will be uh, doing some more on those. I have one little Mythic Le Legion guy back over here. I've got more on pre-order, so as those come in, I'll do like a whole Mythic order uh, or a Mythic Legion review probably at the end of the year when the, the bulk of the ones I have on order ship. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, any comments, I uh, wanted to know anything else about these figures, um, feel free to hit me up in the comments and things down below. Um, please feel free to hit like and subscribe if you like these videos. I'll do more. I'll try to do more toy reviews uh, to mix in with my comic and show rundowns and the movie rundowns or reviews when I get to them. So let me know what you think. Um, again, if you're interested, check out Just Shelve It over on Instagram. It's my uh, only account on Instagram where I'm mainly showing off the collection of all my stuff. So if you want to see better pictures of these things, you can check it out over there. But uh, I think that's it for today. You guys have a great afternoon, weekend, morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Thanks for watching. And as always, ramble on.